Hi everybody, welcome. It's Lisa with Junk Journal Gems. I have a unboxing today or an unpackaging. I have, oh gosh, for about the last year and maybe four months, discovered Traveler's Notebooks. And, you know, once you jump down such a rabbit hole, then you're, you, <laughs> you're lost forever. You've, you've dumped in, jumped into the black hole. So I'll show you first what I already have. It's kind of the madness that I'm in right now. That my husband really has no idea what I've been up to ordering online. <laughs> um, so I'll show you what I have now. And I'll explain where I'm heading and what I'm trying to figure out. So I'm going to save this. Hold, hold on. We'll get to this. Believe me, it's harder for me than it is for you. So this right here, this gorgeous baby, is my very first TN. It's an A5 speckled fawn um, Amelia. And I have loved, oops, there's my address. I have loved this notebook immensely. I still love it immensely. But you know what? Um, every once in a while, hauling around an A5, especially when you're chunking up your notebook, gets to be a little much. Um, I use this as my planner. I use this as my journal. I use it for lists. It, it holds a lot. So I was, I'm almost done with this one and thought that I wanted to start to figure out where I want to go because I'm, I'm, I don't think, I'm going to give Amelia, my lovely Amelia, a little rest here. Um, if ever you have a chance to buy an Amelia, I mean, I'm telling you, this front pocket, I'm not sure if my front pocket, I don't think it's rustic Kodiak. I think it might be rustic Dublin Cognac, but don't quote me on that. This this has been petted and loved. The inside of this is so soft, like a baby's butt. Let me tell you, it it's I love this thing to the point I need to buy new elastics. I've about sprung that one. So in my search for something a little bit smaller. I got this from um, Chic Sparrow. It's an A6 um, Outlander, and I like it, but, and I've been using it as a carry for a smaller calendar and um, some cards, like gift cards and things like that. But I don't know what it is. I'm just not, I like it. The smell is amazing. But I'm just not completely, it isn't pl as pleasing to the touch for me. And I think I like something a little narrower. This is a little boxy for me. So I'll, I'll still probably use this. And because I wasn't really overly excited about this leather, I do have two more A6s coming from Speckled Fawns, and I'll do an unboxing when I get those in my search to find the right thing. So the next thing that I got is I bought on the Buy, Sell, Trade a Chic Sparrow way, Waypoint, and I do like this. It's nice and squishy. I think my thing is I love squishy pull-up leathers. Um, and this, it's used, it's traveled. I have no shame in scrunching it and squishing it. It re kind of releases the leather sm smell. And it's, it's very, very nice. I, I like this size. But, look at, I, I apparently like chunking up my notebooks. And it's like busting at the seams. So that will lead us to our package in a second here. I also wasn't sure if I would like the personal size. And I do, but I'm waiting on some inserts for it. So um, when those come, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the training wheels on this chocolate crumb. 
the chocolate creme I ordered from Second Chance. And I tell you what, folks, I cannot find a thing wrong with it. It's got this awesome little scar here. Um, it's nice, but I don't, I'm not totally sure I love the creme leather either. To me, it feels like almost rubbery. I just haven't found it yet. So I don't know. It's not that I dislike this. I like it, but it's not my total Nirvana yet. So another thing that I do love is I have from Speckled Fawns a rustic tote. I love this thing. It goes everywhere with me. I had it at a wrestling tournament today. Um, it's huge. I can throw everything on the planet. It's softer than all get out inside. It's very suede. -y. Can you see how suede? -y? Yes, it's delicious. And it smells amazing. Amazing. And it comes with this fun little pouch. I've got girl stuff in here. I'm not going to show you what's in there. So, that's what I have now. I'm going to put my lovely tote to the side. So I'm still on this search of what is my happy place for planners. I don't really know yet. So I'm sorry the lighting isn't better, you guys. I tried. I mean, sorry if I bumped you. I'm going to move this light over and see if this helps. I don't know that that helped you. Oh, well, we'll do our best here. I feel like it's in my face. It's in my face. Shall we open it? Let's go for it. I tried to kind of feel what it might be. What I asked for, this is second chance. I thought, I felt like I was living on the edge. Um, given a second chance, a second chance. But I thought that I would order a B6 and ask for... You know, you watch these videos and everybody's Darcy's and Hemingway's look so gorgeous. So I asked for a Darcy or a Hemingway. If I get it, Darcy was my first choice and I always prefer neutral colors. I'm going to pull this stuff out and make sure I've got my packaging so everybody isn't seeing personal stuff. So I'm not going to cheat. And look at the card yet. We're going to do that after I open it. Oh, my God. What a stressful day. Wrestling tournament, which my son took first today at regionals, to now opening this up. <sighs> What's going to be? Sheik Sparrow's packaging is always so very good. So very good. Feels a little stiff. So it does feel like it's probably either Darcy or Hemingway. What do we think it's going to be? Oh, hey, the dust bag doesn't have the Chic Sparrow logo on it. Oh my God, I'm like nervous. Are you guys nervous? Okay, here we go. Got to take a deep breath. Here it is. <gasps> what is this? It's way orange. It's very, very orange. It has a scratch here. I don't know if you can see. Right here, there's a scratch. But, I mean, come on. It's going to get scratches. New pen loop. What is this leather, you guys? Yeah, scratch there. A little scratch here, but I mean, come on. What do we do to our notebooks? I just got done saying that I do not treat mine gently. I don't know that I love this because it's orange. If there's a color I very strongly dislike, it's orange. This is very orange. I think I like the feel of the leather and I think the size would be nice once I mold it. But it's orange and the Stitching is even orange. I like the styrations on here. 
I wonder how this would age. Do you think I would like it with age? Maybe it's my lighting. No, it's orange. Well, let's see what it is. Here's the Chic Sparrow card that you typically get. And the sticker. This is the only sticker I've ever gotten. <laughs> Okay, I gotta fold the um, things so that you don't see my address. Oh, okay, so this is educational for me. So I had asked for my first choice was Austin, either buttered rum, Darcy, or Wickham, and then second was Hemingway, either in the Milan or the Oak. Um, Oak Park or Madrid. And what we got is the Austin... Wickham. I guess when I looked online, I didn't think it would be this orangey. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm going to have to think about it. But it's very orange. Hmm. Hmm. So I think what I'll do is I'll load it up, put training wheels on it, and see how I like it. I mean, the stitching looks all very good. Here's a little scratch, which the scratches, again, I really don't care about because we tote these things around, or I tote them around everywhere, and it would not live at home. It would be bumming around with me. But the craftsmanship is always with Chic Sparrow is very nice. There's nothing wrong with the notebook. It's just a color preference. What's interesting is the inside looks very reddish. But it's very orange. Well, I think what I might do is ask people online to show me how their Wickhams age. And maybe over time it would darken and I might enjoy it more. So there you have it. I got the B6 Second Chance Austin Wickham. Very nice leather, very pretty styrations. Big decision yet to figure out. Thank you for joining me, everybody, in my in my opening, and have a terrific day.